What is up, YouTube? It is Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So, time for the weekly flea market video game pickups recap video. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Um, I am a lot happier uh, compared to the last couple weeks that I actually finally have some stuff. Last week, I didn't find, like, squat. The week before that, I was kind of busy splitting my time between playing Zelda Breath of the Wild and, more importantly, trying to study for a midterm. I got a 90 on my midterm, which I'm happy with because I didn't think I'd honestly get that uh, good a grade. So, worked out all right, but apologies, guys. I'd like to get a good video up once a week with some recap goodness here, but uh, been a little busy uh, the first week, and last week, just no luck. This was actually the only game that was there last week I was thinking about buying. Um, $2 is what he was asked for, which is fair. It's a good price, but... The reason I hesitated is because I know I was, I, st I was reading online that Lord of the Rings Battle of Middle-Earth is a pretty good game from what I was hearing. And I was wondering if this was that game or not. I wasn't 100% sure. I went online. Yeah, Battle, Mid Battle for Middle-Earth is supposed to be the one that's good. But I didn't even bother looking at it before I bought it this week. I was just buying too much. Uh, this is Return of the King. I couldn't really see all of it because of the sticker there. I just totally glossed over it. So I really don't know if this is good or not, but that was there last week, but paid two for it this week, and yeah. <laughs> Oops, but eh, it's only two bucks, and I still got a game. It might be very well worth that. Uh, let's uh, jump into the other stuff I'm a little more excited about. So these six games here I got all from the same vendor. Their prices were a little higher than what uh, normally I want to get games for. They're asking three each, which isn't bad because they're actually decent titles. And he actually had some other ones that are pretty good. But I picked up the ones I think that were best um, as far as either value or games that I'm most interested in playing. So Ratchet and Clank's a game series I've been kind of wanting to pick up uh, games for. So I got that for me. <laughs> Ace Combat, big fan series. I played that on my friend's PS1 back in the day. I enjoyed it. Um... I ha don't have that one yet, but now I do. I actually have a loose copy of this already. This game actually has pretty good value still. I think it's like an $8 game on eBay, so it's kind of nice because it'll pay for a good amount. I'll go over the, how much I paid here in a second. And then uh, I have this actually loose on disc, but I think it's scratched, so I need the resurfacing machine. I'm hopefully, hopefully going to pick up soon. Um, uh, I have a couple DSs that someone's interested in buying for 100 bucks total so if that happens hopefully i'll be able to get a resurfacing machine and then i can fix the other one either sell that off and keep this one which i might or sell the complete one uh, and keep the loose but i actually more likely going to keep this one i might just sell both of them off because this actually has the same games on it plus a few more so that'd be the one to have i think unless i'm really just trying to have every version of you know every game but there's just way too many ps2 games to really try to collect everything and i don't have space for everything i'm trying to keep what i want but this is one i do want to keep a uh, sega classic collection um this has a game i used to play a bunch that i really liked bonanza bros um it's kind of hard to describe you're kind of like two kind of bandit kind of robbers that go in a building and uh, it's cooperative to simultaneous uh player split screen uh, but they kind of look like Blues Brothers, and I think it had a little bit of puzzles and dodging guards. It, it's it's. I remember being really fun back in the day. Uh, I, I remember running virtual racing, like Formula One, Golden Axe, always a classic. Yeah, so some good Sega games, and don't have to deal with cartridge. Like Sega game cartridges, I never had a lot of problem like Nintendo ones, but uh, you don't have to worry about you know pins or anything as long as you're lens in your drive works that works i mean there's pros and cons to both but yeah <laughs> i won't go all into it um i might actually already have a sly cooper i don't know or not but i got a good price on these i paid a dollar for each of these at the same vendor it's the same vendor i actually bought the uh, double dragon revenge uh nes cartridge from uh, they always seem to be super willing to negotiate so I basically picked up an extra game for free at the prices they were asking. So I don't have GTA 3 complete. I have it loose, and I think this loose version I have is too scratched. So that's another one I need to fix, uh, along with that Namco copy that's loose. If I do that, then cool. i got two extra loose games I can sell and just keep the complete ones. Moving on. It's while we're on PS2. So I already have this as well, so this might be one I sell off. DDR Supernova. 
DDR Extreme, and then DDR Max 2, but I have the Supernova already. Uh, those were a dollar each. And a couple Wii games. Now, I know these kind of look grody and not in the best shape here, but he was asking two, <laughs> two for a dollar. Those are only two games he had, so I'm wondering if there were any other ones that I just didn't get to before him. But uh, I always open them up and check them out, make sure condition's good. Um, <laughs> the blob and not where the wild things are. But that's okay. Um, I'm not sure if the blob's the better game or not, but I can actually always use the cases no matter what, and I might even just sell the case on eBay. You know, people buy cases to complete their games. Um, this is actually a pretty good book if uh, you want a kid's book. But I remember the main character's name was Max. But uh, I remember that book all the way from back like kindergarten or first grade, I remember. Uh, Sean White's uh, Snowboarding uh, has the main on all that. And then the last two games I picked up here for Wii, Mario Party 8 and New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I had really good luck on the 3DS version of this game. Uh, I picked up for 5 and I ended up flipping it for 20 because I already had the game, so I didn't need a second copy. So I don't know if flipping is the proper term, but sold it for a $15 profit, which is kind of nice because I paid for some of the stuff I bought today. Um... I didn't get this for five though. The guy was asking fifteen. The game's worth about twenty-three, just a little over twenty dollars. So I was really only leaving about a five dollar margin of profit there. So I wasn't super interested in it. I was trying to see if I get a deal on it. Um, I happened to notice that the Mario Party Eight, which is the only other game I think that was over ten dollars really in value, because he was asking ten for the rest. He had like Twilight Princess, uh, which I have already, and the only other game I was thinking about wanting maybe get is the. Uh, it's Super Mario Sluggers, I think. But uh not really dying to get it, but uh I think it was only worth like eight or nine bucks, so at ten it was not worth the price. But uh this one had a big dent in it. Well I'm going way off topic here. This one had a big dent in it, so I was able to use that to my advantage. Basically, I was like, hey, would you do 20 for both? And he's like, mmm. How about 22? Since that one's sealed. It's like, alright, close enough. Two dollars off for what I wanted. So that's definitely going to get sold. I have already two other copies of it, a loose and a complete. And then uh, Mario Party 8, I don't know if I'll keep that or not. I think there's a version, I don't know if it's 8 or 10 for the Wii U. One of them, they got rid of the star system, and I heard it's not that good. But I don't know if I'll keep that or not. But I'm going to probably either have to put in a new case or see if I can get that dent to push out from the inside. And then uh, last couple things here. Um, I actually got a Switch sort of like this. The one I got is actually a two in one out and you can switch it around on whether you want to do it either way a bi uh, directional switch this one's just three in one out but um i needed one of these for my mom's tv because she's out of hdmi plugs and one thing that's kind of nice might use this on my stream setup is you can run this off usb i am like running out of power outlets like no one's business and uh, i have issues too where the power flickers once in a while and my computer uses too much power um or maybe it's just a wah, but it, my my battery backup can't run my my stream PC my or my game PC. My stream PC is the one I actually do all the streaming off of, but the the one I play on uh, is too powerful. Can't run it off the battery backup that I have. They do make ones that are more powerful that I could, but uh, anyhow, I got this and a screen protector for the Nintendo DS. Got both of those for a dollar. I got another one for a dollar later, um, and then and a 50 foot network cord for a dollar there was actually another one in the box like unopened but uh i set it down for a second because everything was in big bins i was digging through some other guy just walked up and grabbed it and paid for it and i was like uh <laughs> oh well. i i didn't really need two cords i think i even have another spare one but it's kind of not the best shape uh so got a backup backup but um these go for about 10 bucks uh online this one's open, but that's okay. The other one's still sealed. This, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might offer it with a Nintendo DS, because I have one already on mine. So, when I sell the DS's, hopefully, I got someone interested in buying three of them, I might offer that for like five bucks. Like, hey, five bucks, you want to protect one of them. You know these cost more online. Anyhow, folks, that is it. I'm going to wrap this up here. We're about at the 10-minute mark. I'm not trying to hit 10 minutes, but that's just about where we're at. Uh, as always, feel free to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Hope you all had a great St. Patrick's Day. Have a great weekend. And I uh, hope you had a great spring break because I just about have finished mine. Mine's over 
Tuesday, so I've got to go back to class. But uh, have a great one, folks, and I will catch you next week. Bye-bye.